Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Got a new iPhone, and it's stuck on the setting up your Apple ID screen during setup? Don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'll show you a few quick fixes to get past this screen and start using your iPhone. Method 1. Force restart iPhone and skip setting up your Apple ID. First press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, hold down the side button until the Apple logo appears. After the restart, set up the iPhone again. When prompted to sign in with your Apple ID, tap Forgot Password or Don't Have an Account. Then select Set Up Later in Settings. Choose Don't Use. You have now completed the setup and entered your iPhone. Now open Settings. Sign in to your Apple ID from here. Many users have reported that this works. Method 2. Sign in with a new Apple ID. Sometimes, the issue may lie with the Apple ID itself. Using a new Apple ID may resolve the problem. Restart your iPhone and set up the device again. When prompted to sign in with an Apple ID, tap Forgot Password or Don't Have an Account. Select Create a Free Apple Account. Then follow the on-screen prompts to create a new Apple account and sign in. Method 3. Fix the issue with iSumsoft iOS Refixer. First, connect your iPhone to your computer using a USB cable. Then boot your iPhone into recovery mode. Here's how. First press and quickly release volume up. Then press and quickly release volume down. Finally hold down the side button until the recovery mode appears. On your computer, make sure iTunes is installed, but you don't need to use it. Next, download and install iSumsoft iOS Refixer on your computer. This is a powerful tool designed to fix various iOS issues without losing data. I've included the link in the description below. Then launch the software. Select the System Repair option. Select Standard Mode. Click Start to confirm your selection. Click Next. The software will automatically detect your iPhone. Click Download to download the firmware required to repair your iPhone. Finally, click Repair to start repairing your iPhone. The repair was successful. You can then set up your iPhone again and sign into your Apple ID without any issues. Method 4. Factory Restore Your iPhone Connect your iPhone to your computer via USB cable. Then boot your iPhone into recovery mode.
Open iTunes on your computer. Choose Restore when prompted. Click Restore and Update. Click Agree. iTunes will erase your iPhone and reinstall iOS. The restore is complete. You should now be able to set up your iPhone from scratch and sign into your Apple ID without issues. And that's it. If this video helped you, give it a like and subscribe for more iPhone tips and tricks.